Wheezy season of potion. Can you feel the light inside? Can you feel the fire? Your lunch and Michael Entertainment. Any grapes? Too many hard enough weeping. Ocean glory. And call you out. You're a punk ass, oh my god. No doubt. I've got records in my head spinning out of control. Records in my head. I got records in my head everywhere. Round and around and again. Round. Keep on rocking past the code of just the sound of scratches, I hear records in my head I feel Rihanna Ooh, I feel the vibe So you can fuck off Hearing qualm of this Feed em, feed em to the lions Shouting at the sky, so I learn to fly Thank you and good night I'll be seeing you and I'll be seeing you Giving my goodbye and good night. Bang! Ain't no kid on crutches. Okay, okay, we got the energetic stuff out of the way. Now let's um, let's slow it down for a bit. All right. Now let's lower that for a bit. Hello. Welcome to Weezer Wednesday, where I look at a Weezer album on a Wednesday. As you can tell by these very jazzy vibes. Uh, well, well last week we it wasn't that jazzy. There was a song called Blue Like Jazz, but it was anything but. We looked at S Summer. It had that very rocking, energetic vibe that I guess you'd have when the world would be burning to death. But other than that, uh, yeah, it feels like a more darker perspective on the season of summer, I guess. It's not usually like a island in the sun. It's more like a freaking death and destruction off of Maladroit. But let's get this jazz fun again. Now we're here on the autumn section, you know. Surely this is a time where it gets more mellower, a little more calmer, or for all we know, it can just keep being rocking, who knows? As you can see, you know, this is where you'd have like a Look at the starry night, the moon shining. You know, it's just a good time, good calming time. After the dust has settled, you're ready to just sit back and enjoy some nice music. Slow it down a bit. You're now listening to Jazzy Tunes by Weezer. You're at the top of the hour with your host, Garut. Sit back, relax, and be ready for some delightful jazz by Rivers Cuomo and his gang. <laughs> All right, okay, okay, you, you get the idea, you get the idea. Are we getting more mellow jazz on this album? No, we are not. We're getting Weezer, and you're gonna like it! Or we do get jazz, who knows. But, um, I don't know how else you describe Autumn by it being more calmer. Yeah, I don't know, because the dust has settled after summer, and now you're like, okay, now we can calm down a bit, right? Surely. Weezer lot is still the same, I didn't clean it up, sorry about that, but we'll see where Autumn lands on there. Let's see what Genius has to say about Autumn. Unreviewed, of course, by Lemmy Kelsey. Seasons Autumn is the third EP installment of Weezer's 2022 musical themed four part project, Seasons. Lead singer Rivers Cuomo described Autumn to lean towards more dance rock, which is not something they've traditionally been able to get away with. Autumn has a more focus with the feelings and emotion of anxiety flavored in each song in the EP, Dance Rock. Alrighty then. Well, I'm just saying if, um,. If spring has a more feel towards the green album, and summer had a feel towards the Maladroit album, then what would be next is is make believe. I don't know if it'll follow that trend. <laughs> you know, I'm just noticing a little bit. Well, you could say uh, the blue album deluxe edition, but okay then. Anyway, yeah, let's get into it. Seasons, autumn, Weezer. September 22nd, 2022, 7 songs, 24 minutes. Track number 1, Can't Dance, Don't Ask Me. Okay. But what is this? What is this video? Oh my goodness. 
What? Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Let him cook. And we welcome back, Wavos. <laughs> That's not good. It was just a husk, a soul. Who's there? Hey! Feet! Whoa, hey! Hey, base! Let's go, base! Yeah, so... Some very interesting choices here. We got some synthesizers back. I, I, the chorus is kind of catchy. It kind of reminds me of, like, the opposite of me where he's talking about, like, being someone else he's not, wishing he was someone else he's not, and him being self-aware again. Cause he can't dance but we should ask him to dance man don't have to don't have to put yourself down like that anyone can dance maybe what's a good being good oh great we got more verified annotations by the man himself at one point it was so and so's in tahoe with a hot toe by the fire <laughs> hold up his writing is this fire? The narrator seemingly works up the huevos to knock on that door, but doesn't actually want to be let in, either because of a self-doubting second thought or possibly even masochism. The phrase of give it to me in the pre-chorus implies that the narrator wants to be left out, which is further explored in get off on the pain. Alright. Well, I mean, if it also talks about the talks about the themes of anxiety, then yeah, this sounds like a very anxious thought. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, self-doubt is huge. Speaking of which, track two, get off on the pain. What's good, Judas? I your side. He gets off off the pain. Oh, 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 oh. And that's a good question. True. Get off on the pain. Get off on the pain. Get off on one pain. Peel it off. Peel off your skin. Right by your side. Get off on the pain. Get up on the pain. Wow, what a track. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, lots of connections to anxious feelings, of course. Of course, River's questioning again. Like, a bunch of self-doubt with him, within himself. Sounds like he's trying to look for comfort in, like, in that person, maybe from the previous track. I try to make it better, but there's no way around it. He sounds like he's trying to better himself, but he... No matter how much he tries to, I guess his mind gets to the best of him, to where it just, like shuts him down from making any progress which is uh, hey man that's a struggle some people actually have to overcome although the the idea of masochism in here kind of <laughs> it, it, i can kind of see that you know rivers is a freak some kind of freak judas tree also known as circus Scylla qualstrom i'm gonna i'm gonna play this game again circus Circus. Oh god, can someone please? Well, Google doesn't have it. You know what? Circus Siliquastrum. You can leave that pronunciation up to your interpretation. Has a myth that Judas hanged himself from a tree of this type. Oh, well then. This might mean that the protagonist feels that he is at the end of his rope. Well, we all know Judas is a bastard liar and a freaking snake, right? He's the one that killed Jesus. But God, Jesus killed. Right? Something like that. The main character may be having sex before getting married, which is frowned upon and is considered a sin in the Bible. This is probably why he says, Lord have mercy on my soul. Rivers is tired. So tired. Orthodoxy is adherence to correct or accepted creeds, especially in religion. Orthodoxy within Christianity refers to acceptance of the doctrines defined by various creeds and ecumenical councils in antiquity. Holy crap, I'm bad at reading, huh? But different churches accept different creeds and councils. Yikes. I guess every church is different. Wouldn't know. Here in Cuomo. Overall, a pretty good song. I'm liking that one. 
Track number three, what happens after you? I don't know. I don't know what happens after me. <laughs> Welcome back, Pacific Daydream. Not a signal, hear an echo. Echo. Wires. Wires. Understand. He's curious. Curious. What a chorus, man. What a chorus. True. Oh, that's not good. Uh oh. Oh, but a guitar solo now. Kind of. Well, uh, well then, uh, <laughs> another, another breakdown track about one pondering about uh, the usual Cuomoisms, the relationships falling apart, I can't live without you, I need you, I love you, I don't know what I'd do without you, you know, the usual Cuomo stuff you'd hear in, in a usual Weezer song. He's probably having some kind of breakdown too, wondering about his future within the relationship and what to do post-relationship. He probably knows that it's crumbling down, he probably knows that it's on its last leg, he probably knows that it's eventually coming, so I guess the pondering of what happens next is also feeding into that anxious feeling. Will I grow kinder when I see how fragile life is? The main character might be rude or angry, but after losing the love of their life, they become kinder or happier when they see how fast things, or a person in this case, disappear. How's that one song go? Only learn to love her when you let her go, and you let her go. Okay then. Will I go crazy, sadistic, swinging around a big stick? Rivers blatantly references his penis here. Well then. Unreviewed, by the way. But uh hey, that's good to know. Track four, Francesca. Oh, I'm listening. There you go. What? Gandy? <laughs> hey. I do. I bid you adieu. Shout out Kenny of Omega. Oh. 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 We're just getting bilingual on us, huh? Hello? Hmm. Okay. Also, not a bad track. You seem to be losing the girls, man. You seem to be losing the girls. What's happening? Are you calling that? You calling her a devil and a whore, man? Let's see what the official Rivers Cuomo has to say about Francesca. The song is actually about Napoleon Josephine. Well then, I get it. I get it. While the narrator of the song compares Francesca to his Waterloo, the battle that ended Napoleon's domination of Europe, it's notable that Napoleon sees power by a coup d'état. Come on, come on, let's be French for a minute. Coup d'etat. Coup d'etat. Fuck yeah! Bilingual! It's notable that Napoleon seized power by coup d'etat, which overthrew the French government, effectively ending the French Revolution. Ah uh, yes, the French. Very, very notable history. Possibly a reference to Paolo and Francesca as shown in Dante's Inferno. Woohoo! Confirmed that this song was written from the point of view of a letter from Napoleon to Josephine when Napoleon is paranoid they've been shut out of paradise. Ah. Hmm. I take back everything I said about rivers and the ladies. Paranoia. Anxiety. Not exactly the same, but they're in the same ballpark. Ugh. Shout out to Napoleon Dynamite. Why did I... Did I actually say Dynamite Dean any time here? Shout out to Napoleon. Very famous for his epic rap battle of history with Napoleon Dynamite. You know, I haven't noticed any of... Vivaldi's music. Are we gonna get that here or soon? Because there's like three tracks left. Anyway, yeah, track five. Should she stay or should she go? Maybe you think Old Testament? Old Testament. <laughs> Banter? Before a song? I know that. Weezer reference. Okay. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, jeez. Calm down, Mr. Rivers. Whoa. Hold up. 
Whoa, bro, hold up. What do you think, Mr. Man upstairs? Tell me I did not just hear. Tell me I did not just hear a saxophone just now. What I say? What I say? What is autumn about? Mellower, jazzier tunes. I always an apology. I did not expect any element of jazz on this EP, and I was surprisingly surprised. <laughs> it's funny too, because I was just about to say, this song probably has encapsulate the feeling of of autumn the most so far. I don't know if that's a good thing, like five tracks in out of seven, but hey. You know, at least you got one. At least you got one. Um, obviously he's talking about like pretty much what happened in the last track, but this sounds like more from Rivers' perspective or from what was it like from Get Off on the Pain with all the religious, religious, with all the religious references. You know, he's asking, he's sending a prayer. How can this relationship be salvaged? Which, uh, it's not looking good if you're arguing about pretty much anything. Thinking about kicking her ass out, your words, not mine. Amen. You can try to salvage it, but, uh, yeah, if it's, uh, sometimes you just need to cut your losses, bro. But, you know, a good song. And it encapsulates the feeling of autumn. <laughs> they really are the best to do it. Anyway, track number six, The Way I Hate You Now. Uh-oh. Oh, is it? Wait, this is not track six. The fuck? Hello? What happened to track six? Oh. Wait, The Way I Hate You Now? Okay, I think that's the bonus track. Well, uh, actual track number six, Tastes Like Pain. Okay, don't blame me. Blame Genius, okay? Why the frick is this here? Why is this here? And not all the way at the bottom. Blame Genius, not me. I'm loser. I'm loser. Okay, I'm welcome back to Vivaldi, I guess. Okay. Well then, <laughs> uh, that that was the most self-hatred track I've heard off the EP so far, I think. The song experiments with a piece from Vivaldi's Winter Movements, Concerto No. 4 in F minor, Op 8, RV-297, Winter, Allegro Non Molto. On the summer EP, Weezer also borrowed from the Winter Movements in Lawn Chair as the seasons change, the music points to the inevitability of winter. Sprinkle in a little self-hate, drop a pinch of bottle up rage, mix it up and serve it on a plate. This is the recipe for pain. The main character could be cooking for someone else and their anxiety and pain gets the better of them. Well yeah, this seems like the climax moment. Um, well, complete opposite of <laughs> what I think Autumn is about. But um, okay. That went a little crazy. A little scary man. A little scary man. Anyway, track 7, the last track on the EP before we go to the bonus track. Run, Raven, run. Rivers the Ravens, Eagles, and the Saints. Rivers, I know you're a football guy, come on. That's the only other reason, man. Surely not because it means anything else. Run, Raven, run. <laughs> okay. Guitar solo. Build up, build up, build up, come on! Come on! Uh... Oh, like. Oh, okay. Um. Okay.
Oh. Oh no. For whom the bell tolls, time marches on. Okay, well. Then, we're back. Well, that was Run Raven Run. Um, that was a lot to take in. I do want to say that it was overall a strong track, but <laughs> God, Rivers' his vocals near the end, that, that like soft whisper, high pitch kind of vocals. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. All Saints Day is a day in Catholicism, which honors all the holy people who have been canonized by the church. Rivers is a cannibal, seven down votes. <laughs> Seems to be an echo to brighter, happier times to the protagonist, specifically the ones he experienced back in spring. It is shown as a distant memory in a dark moment, almost like a distant happy memory that is a long time gone. The melody and lyrics are reused from Pacific Sunset, a, be a fan beloved demo originating from nearly a decade ago. Jeez. Song jumps from the pre chorus to this outro, the happy memories disappear, and the protagonist returns to the dark reality he escaped from for a very brief moment. I mean, a raven is symbolic of i guess dark times you know with the plague doctor's mask and how it's used a lot in death because like you have the raven the darker bird and then like a dove the lighter brighter version easily to signal happiness well a uh, shout out to the weezer fans who wanted this this uh pacific sunset demo you got it kind of all right yeah I think it ended strong. Still not liking that vocals at the end, but uh, if it got the point across, I guess. Anyway, let's listen to this bonus track. What's it called? The Way I Hate You Now. From Weezerville. Yeah, sure. Bonus track, The Way I Hate You Now. Nobody ever loved you the way I me, the way you touch me then. Okay, then. Well, you know, you don't have to say it, but I know it's true. Oh, wait. Turn this bitch up! Uh-oh. <laughs> gotcha. So true. Hey, 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 yeah! Fuck his ex! Fuck that bitch! Chills! Oh! Oh! Okay then! Guitar solo! Alright then! Well, um, sounds like a rock breakup tune. <laughs> my poor man, my poor man's got cheated on, man. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. You don't, you shouldn't cheat. The only person who's able to cheat and still have fans is like Future. Maybe. Maybe some other people that I'm not thinking about right now, but Future's one of them for sure. Shout out to Future. Anyway, um, it's a little fun rocking breakup tune. Nothing too crazy. But, uh, that was Seasons Autumn. Um, yeah, not entirely what I expected. Again, falls into that line of listenable. I do think that there is some sort of lyrical lyrical uniformity in a sense that they are kind of talking about similar things. Not super repetitively. The subject matter is pretty much similar and like, what's the word? Um, I guess consistent throughout the EP. So there's that. When it comes to like the songs themselves, I do like them. Do you like Get Off On The Pain? Francesca, should she stay or should she go? Maybe it's just not what I expected because my idea of Autumn is kind of, I guess it's kind of different from what Weezer decided to think of for Autumn. I I'm not the one to think anxiety when Autumn comes around, but then again, I'm not Rivers Cuomo, so there's that. Um, I do kind of appreciate Rivers for tackling the topic of anxiety. I don't know if it's expressed in a way that you could be pretty complex and deep about it, it's kind of surface level, but you know, <laughs> I'm sure a man like Rivers gets anxious a lot. He's been pretty infamous for like his waning mental health and his anxious thoughts and whatnot. I mean, have you seen Pinkerton? This isn't out of the ordinary for like a Rivers Cuomo, but yeah, there's some decent tracks here. Overall, it's just another okay EP. Yeah, <laughs> it's just just some good songs here and there. Although Taste Like Pain was kind of um kind of a little wacky. The saxophone coming in out of nowhere, 
did take me by surprise, so I'll give you that. At least we had some form of similar wavelengths when we come to the thought of autumn. So I, I don't know why that's stuck in my freaking head. What the fuck? What the fuck? Ooh. What happened to my Photoshop? Hello? That's not good. Anyway, um, uh... Anyway, here's the Weezer ladder that's not cleaned up. Here's Autumn. Yeah, it's kind of in the realm of the spring area. I want to say I want to give it to Autumn though, because I, I don't know. I think I just do like the, I think I just like the tracks more than Autumn, or than spring. I'll give it above there, right there. I, I give it just a slight edge to Autumn over spring. God, I guess I clean this. But uh, yeah, a little dip from summer, but hey, we shall see how seasons will wrap up. There's autumn. Autumn is done. So what's next on the Weezer list? Well, it's finally here. <laughs> we have finally reached the latest Weezer album, the latest in the season's EPs, Winter. Damn, we're, we're almost done, man. For now. We're almost done for now. I'll keep you posted on that, but yeah, this will be our last album. Winter next week. That's kind of crazy. How long ago did I start this freaking series? Wow, nearly three months ago. Crazy. Well, let's end it off on a good note, hopefully. With that being said, thanks for watching another Weezer Wednesday in the books. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Watch my other Weezer related videos if you want to. Watch my other non Weezer related videos if you want to. Uh, thanks for the support. And we're almost done with the main titles. Kind of crazy. <laughs> getting, kind of getting kind of emotional thinking about it. Well, autumn is done. Even though we're in autumn, we're speeding up time, baby. We're going to winter already. If I hear one jingle bell on this, I am losing it. I'm going to end the video and I'm going to stop listening to it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, that's probably what's going to happen in winter. But uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. See ya.